If you were following along in an earlier lesson, I mentioned that one of the greatest advantages to Google Docs is that the documents you create here are saved to a central location on a secure server so you can access them from any connected device around the world. Well, what about the files that you've already created on your own computer? Well, you might want to consider uploading them to Google Docs. That way you can access them, like I said, from anywhere around the world, but also you can share them with other people, collaborate on those files, even though you've already created them and they're not yet in Google Docs. So in this lesson, we're going to upload a couple of different files. The second button up here in your Google Docs homepage is the Upload button. So let's give it a click. Now you can upload files that are located on devices like your computer by clicking the Choose File button, or if they're on the web, you can enter the URL here and even rename it simultaneously as you upload the file. Now just before we choose a file to upload, take a look over here on the right-hand side at the compatible formats. When it comes to word processing documents, HTML files and plain text files can be uploaded. Microsoft Word documents, the older version, not the latest, at least not at the time of this recording, but Google Docs is constantly being improved and updated, so .docx files will eventually show up here, I'm sure. Rich text format, open document text, and star office files can also be uploaded. When it comes to presentations, PowerPoint presentations, PPT files, as well as PPS files, the portable slideshow format. And then we've got spreadsheets. Comma separated value is a very common format. It's a generic format that can be opened by almost any spreadsheet application. But we can also upload XLS files here and open document spreadsheet files as well. So you'll notice we don't have .pptx or xlsx files yet, the latest version from Microsoft. But like I said, we'll probably see them in no time. So let's upload a couple of files. We'll go over here to the Choose File button. And if you've got the exercise files, wherever you stored them on your computer, you can navigate to that folder. If you don't have exercise files, you can look for a Word document, maybe a CSV file or a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to go to this one here in the Exercise Files folder called Agenda.doc. So with that selected, all I have to do is click Choose. And you might be wondering, can I select multiple files and upload them at once? No, you can't. If you try and hold down your Control key on a PC or your Command key on a Mac and try to select another file, you can't. It's one at a time, so we'll start with Agenda.doc and click Choose. The name now appears here next to the Choose File button. All we have to do is upload it by clicking the Upload File button. This uploads it to Google Docs and it'll open it up in the word processing application. There's my flashing cursor. I'm ready to start working on this file. Now if I don't make any changes to it, I don't need to come up here to save or save and close. I can go directly back to my Docs home by clicking the link up here in the top right corner and it now appears in my list of files here under All Items. It'll also appear under Documents when I click on my Documents link over here on the left-hand side. I see my original file that I created in a previous lesson as well as the one I just uploaded. I'm going to go back to All Items. Let's upload another file. This time we'll do that CSV file. Let's see what happens. Click the Upload button. Click Choose File. Again, from the exercise files, if you've got them, we'll do the expense report. It's a CSV file, comma, separated values. We click Choose. If you don't have the exercise files, maybe find an Excel S file, an Excel file, or if you've got a CSV file. It'll appear here next to the Choose File button. When you click Upload File, it's uploaded to Google Docs and opened up in the spreadsheet application. So here's my expense report. I have some formatting to do, but my data is in there at least. So we'll be talking about formatting your spreadsheets when we get to the spreadsheet application chapters later on in this title. Right now I'm going to go back to my Docs Home. haven't made any changes to save. And it now appears up here in my list along with the other items here in my Google Docs Home. Of course, to go back to those, we just click on them to make changes. But now you know how to upload your files into Google Docs.